Hi there, Ronnie here. Can we back you with another video specifically for board and card games? I did some board and card game uh, playing over Christmas. I got some new board games. I got uh, QI the board game from my nephew Andrew. Thank you very much. I got My Little Scythe from Jason and Becky. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing that actually. Uh, for those who don't know it, it's uh, it's essentially scythe, but broken down and cut down into a family game style, uh, based on My Little Pony. So, you know, essentially the same mechanics but sort of simplified. Um, I had seen it at Tabletop Scotland and it intrigued me because I. I mean, I've got I've got a few heavy games. I'm hoping to get a couple more. I've got a few heavy games, and they're fun to play. But I'm also acutely aware that um, I have uh, a girlfriend and a daughter, and it's about getting finding sort of family games for uh, that they can play as well. Um, while still being heavy enough to be interesting for me as well. I mean, I do have some light family games that I'll get to in a second, but um, My Little Scythe seems to be a family game with a bit of oomph. So that appeals to me. Uh, speaking of my girlfriend Fiona, uh, she very kindly got me the Mother of Dragons expansion for uh, the Game of Thrones board game which I am very much looking forward to sort of adding and, and using and I also because it was going cheap because it was on sale I, I picked up Destination Scotland now if people have seen my videos I, I did a, a review of the Christmas one for that which is Destination Christmas and I said in that review that there were other Destination games because I like the concept of Destination Christmas, the idea of being a taxi cab and going hither and thither, picking up fares and dropping them off. And the, it is more of a sort of light medium, much more of a sort of traditional family game, family board game, if you will. But the only problem with Destination Christmas really is once Christmas is by with, once the festive season is by with, no one wants to play Destination Christmas, let, you know, chief of all me. Um, so by getting Destination Scotland, I can play that game the rest of the year and just bring out uh, Destination Christmas for Christmas time in the same way that I play Love Letter 11 months of the year, but come late November into December, uh, I start playing uh, Letters to Santa. Um, targets or anything for board games this year first of all is getting new units I need some new uh, shelving um, I might have a bit of a clearance of some of my stuff not a lot because I, I, I'm kind of happy with it uh, chief amongst my buying I do have one coming in called Bastille and Jasco Games have finally, finally uh, announced that um, the expansion for the Buffy board game is coming out in March. So that's being had. Quite frankly, I'm having it. Um, other than that, I'm really not looking to add to my collection anytime soon. I've got a nice collection of games and I'm really just looking to consolidate on those for the moment. I'm not too bothered about getting... The only one that's going to turn my head is Fury of Dracula now that that's back out. Um, that one's got me going ooh. But other than that I, I I don't see major purchases happening uh, other than those. 
you know, maybe Fury of Dracula and certainly the Buffy expansion and the, the Bastille game that's coming. Uh, other than, than for other people, for their, their, their birthdays and, you know, Christmases and so on. Um, I mean, this. There's, there's, there's the, um, the, the constant inner voice debate of do I, do I do the investment? Yawning, excuse me. Do I do the investment and, and get TI four? Uh, for those not in the know, that's Twilight Imperium fourth edition. And I'm still reluctant. I'd love to own it, but. At this point, I will probably be owning it just for the pleasure of owning it, rather than owning it because I want it, because it's going to get on the table enough to justify the price. And at this point, I don't think it would be. So I don't see the point in keeping it. So I'm not. I'm still not sold on getting uh, TI4. Be lovely, but I, I I don't see me getting it anytime soon. Because it just it doesn't. I can't justify the price. Um, other than that, I want to really. I want to get Game of Thrones, a board game, back on table again, especially since I've got uh, the. Mother of Dragons expansion. I want to get Warrior Knights back on table again. Thief. I want to get back on table again. I want to give Corley, the Godfather Corleone's Empire a good run out because that's been long overdue. Um, and really, it's just about adding and subtracting and just getting things sorted. Uh, so. That's really what I'm looking forward to doing um, this year in terms of sort of tabletop gaming, you know, board and card games and so on. Um, so thanks for watching guys, uh, and I'll be back soon with another video.